Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing real ninjutsu versus martial arts. And the reason I'm going to be discussing real ninjutsu versus martial arts is because of a comment that someone posted underneath one of my YouTube videos last month. And because of his comment, I felt like I needed to discuss this particular topic on my YouTube channel so that my students and supporters know where I stand on this particular topic. Now, before we begin, I always give a shout out to all of my new viewers. So, if this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, my name is Krista Jacobson. I am the headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach Koryu Ninjutsu and Koryu Bujutsu, so the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. The school does have other areas of focus, such as reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, survival skills, concealed carry, martial arts theory, thought, and philosophy, martial arts conditioning. If any of those topics interest you at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you guys can keep up with everything that we're doing. I do post two to three videos a week. So, like I said, if you're interested in any of those topics, please subscribe to the channel and keep up with what we're doing, okay? I also want to state that I'm going to keep this individual's name completely anonymous. Um, I've never made videos about anybody or critiquing anybody, uh, you know, trashing somebody, pointing fingers and all that kind of stuff. Like, I know that's what gets the most views when, you know, you talk bad about someone or you critique somebody or whatever. That just tends to be what everyone wants to watch. Never done that, and I don't plan on starting now. So this individual, he is going to be... Um, remain anonymous. I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to black out his icon, black out the username, and I'm just simply going to read his comment and then read my response and then give you guys a little bit more um, in-depth understanding as to why I feel the way that I do on this particular topic. Underneath one of my videos he writes, I inquired about your school a while back asking how much you focused on real ninjutsu skills versus martial arts and you made it clear that it was mostly the latter. Has this changed? My response to this individual was, to start, we teach all 18 skills of the ninja, 100% all forms of stealth. I have never said anything other than that. You clearly misunderstood me. I will say under Shodan, first degree black belt, the focus is on taijutsu. That does not mean that there is no ninjutsu. That's ridiculous. Yes, we teach ninjutsu under Shodan. However, the focus is on taijutsu and bujutsu. This is because I refuse to train a bunch of pussies who can't work hard and can't fight in ninjutsu. After first dawn, second degree through tenth degree, the main focus is on ninjutsu, but you have to earn it. Too many weak-ass keyboard warriors who buy books and think they study ninjutsu yet don't have the basic skills for combat. The ninja was a warrior, and even though combat was not the most important skill for a ninja mission in the Sengoku period, they were still highly trained in it and would not have got a job as a shinobi without being really good at combative skills. So many people contact me and tell me that they train hard, they can fight, blah blah blah, then they join, they get on the mat, they get their ass whooped and quit and join some book club or other school that has no sparring, no combative stress testing, and I refuse to participate in weak ass training like that. If you want ninjutsu here, you have to prove yourself and earn it first. Also, if you keep up with the Buddha Dukai, we host two workshops every month that anyone can come to regardless of rank. Plus, we have three Taikais that anyone can come to. The vast majority of them are focused on ninjutsu. It does not matter rank. A white belt can come and train in the ninja arts. Example, this month we have a workshop on the Ban Senshu Kai and another on Seizan Jutsu. A white belt can attend the workshops and train in ninjutsu. However, training in ninjutsu and getting ranked in ninjutsu is not the same thing. We 100% offer ninjutsu training in this organization, but for someone to be ranked in ninjutsu, they have to go through the curriculum, prove themselves, be awarded a shodan, then they have earned the honor of studying to be ranked in ninjutsu if they decide to continue their training after shodan. Hopefully, this clears it up. Now, a week or so ago, I posted a video called There's No Ninjutsu Without Bujutsu. And when I made that video, it was after that individual made this particular comment. So when you guys get a chance, you should go watch that video because I kind of addressed this a little bit in that video, um, but not to the degree that I'm gonna be addressing it in this particular video, okay? But that video was one that I shared with some of my, uh, some of my students there at the Hambu Dojo. So a great video for you guys to go and watch that actually references this particular video here, okay? When someone says real ninjutsu, I automatically peg him as just, it, 
it's just shit to be honest with you. I mean, it's like the ninja community is the reason this is the reason why all martial arts make fun of ninjutsu. You know what I mean? Like when you study karate, you never see someone says, that's not real karate. They ask you what kind of karate it is. Was well, it Okinawan karate? Is it Shotokan? Goju Ryu? Oh, you do Kempo. Is it American Kempo? Shaolin Kempo? Uh, Ed Parker Kempo? AKKA Kempo? Tracy Kempo? You know, whatever, whatever. You know, it doesn't. Shit. It's just like they, they just ask you what kind of Kempo. You know, it, it's only in the ninja community do people truly believe that there is the real ninjutsu and. Everything else isn't ninjutsu. Ninjutsu is a set of skills, guys. It's a set of skills. You're training in a set of skills. It's what you're doing. And anybody who tells you anything other than that, they're selling you something. And that is the truth. It's like this other day I had someone post underneath one of my Instagram photos. And he said, uh, again, I'm going to be you know, anonymous here. But he said something along the lines of, um, well, the only, if you're, the only way you can study real ninjutsu is from this organization. And again, I'm going to be generic. but So if you're not from this organization, it's not real ninjutsu, right? It's like, so the only way you can learn real ninjutsu is from that organization. And again, I'm not going to say who he is or what organization he's from and what organization he's talking about. But even that organization also says they don't teach ninjutsu anymore because it doesn't fit in the modern day. Imagine someone, they're driving their car and car pops on the side of the road, the tire pops. So, you know, I pull over and I help them change the tire. And um, the individual's like, wow, where did you learn how to change a tire? And I'm like, well, my dad taught me. Oh, well, you just changed my tire fake. You know, because the only way you could really learn how to change a tire is if you go up to Ford. Ford is the only person and the only organization, Ford Motor Company is the only organization that could teach you how to change a tire. That's it. If you don't learn how to change a tire from Ford Motor Company, then it's just fake how to, how to change a tire. I mean, it's about the dumbest shit you can, ever, you can ever say, right? If you put that in the world of religion, you would think it's a cult, isn't it? When you hear someone say, the only way to salvation is through this particular church. <laughs> the only way you're going to heaven is in this particular temple. I mean, you would be like, you know, <laughs> well, I think most people would be like, hmm, you know, um, and most martial artists clearly are like, hmm, because 99% like of the people who study martial arts do not study ninjutsu, right? Ninjutsu is like the, 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 the freaking, the one that most people make fun of. Anyway, it's like, it's very culty, like th this particular individual that made that comment on Instagram, but it falls in line with this because this individual isn't part of that group, but he's part of another group <laughs> that kind of has the same mindset. What I want to do is just like, um, I want to share a couple quotes with you guys and then give you my thoughts on why when people say real ninjutsu versus martial arts is crap. There is no ninjutsu without bujutsu. Ninjutsu is so vast and so deep and um, different people have different philosophies on the study and practice of ninjutsu, which is one reason why there are different organizations. Same thing with religion, even though everyone kind of reads from the same book or the same doctrine or whatever it is, right? Um, there obviously are different people, different organizations read those scriptures or doctrine or whatever. They read it and they get a different a different um, feel from it. So their teachings and their angle of their teachings are different than say somebody else who may be using the same book, right? So ninjutsu is very much like that. You know, a lot of times people use same scrolls, but the way that they read them, the way that they put them into training application is very, very different, you know? So I'm on the side where you cannot separate ninjutsu from bujutsu. And let me explain why. This isn't like I'm just saying this because it's my opinion. I get that particular stance from the historical text. In the world of ninjutsu, we have what's called the three treasures. And those three treasures are the Ban Senshu Kai, Nimpiden, and Shoninki. And those three books are in public domain. There is no school that owns those particular texts. They're in the public domain. And if you're studying ninjutsu, you should read those books, right? The Shoninki was written in 1681 by Notori Masatake. Now inside the Shoninki, Notori Masatake clearly states, the art of the Shinobi is an art to be conducted by Bushi warriors. So Bushi warrior samurai. Okay, so 
The samurai are the people who are training in the warrior arts, martial arts. They're busting their ass with taijutsu and jujutsu and kenjutsu and iaijutsu and they're training in the arts and the people who are training in the ways of war, the people who are the soldiers, the bushi, the samurai, those are the ones that should be conducting the art of the shinobi. Ninjutsu. Now there are some people who think the shonen ki is a crap text and they don't believe it and they don't they don't use that particular text with their training and that is fine but that doesn't mean that i can't use it as a reference point as it was written in 1681. the ninpaden was written in 1560 by hattori hanzo one of the most famous ninja of all time now in the ninpaden hattori hanzo he states that shinobi can excel even in combat one of these warriors is a match for a thousand, and they have succeeded in countless number of incidents. So he's saying that the ninja can excel in combat. He's also saying one of these warriors. He didn't say one of these spies. He didn't say one of these whatever, you know, farmers, merchants, monks. Hattori Hanzo uses the word warrior. Shinobi can excel even in combat. Ninjas can excel even in combat. And one of these warriors, someone who goes to war, someone who does combat, and one of these warriors is a match for a thousand. Clearly he is saying that the ninja are <laughs> really good at martial arts. They're really good at fighting. They're really good at combat. So for someone to say, going back to the individual's original post well i want to know if you're teaching real ninjutsu not martial arts you don't get one without the other again making a reference point the shoninki says the samurai are the ones who should be conducting the art of ninjutsu and the ninpaden is saying that the ninja can excel in combat and one of these warriors is a match for a thousand now, the Bonsen Shukai was written by Fujibayashi Yasutake in 1676. And in the Bonsen Shukai, Fujibayashi says, It is possible to kill the enemy general with Shinobi no Jitsu, and if this is done, the benefit will be immeasurable. There is a secret in Shinobi no Jitsu on the skills required to kill the enemy's commander. Before I make a comment on that, I want to make sure that we're very clear about a particular topic of what he's talking about. In the Bonsen Shukai, he also makes very a lot of references towards you know, the philosophies of Kenjutsu and Ninjutsu. Um, he talks about swordsmanship. He talks about spearmanship. Um, he even says that the ninja should train themselves in Kenjutsu swordsmanship and Iai or Iaijutsu, you know, training with the sword. And he, he, so Fujibayashi states multiple times about the warrior arts or what we would say martial arts. And he talks about that separate from Ninjutsu. So it is very clear that Fujibayashi Yasutake, when you read his words in the Bonsen Shukai, he is not saying Kenjutsu is Ninjutsu. He's not saying Soujutsu or Spearmanship is Ninjutsu or Iaijutsu is Ninjutsu. He's putting all that separate. He says that the ninja should train in those arts. The ninja should train in Kenjutsu and Iaijutsu or whatever, right? Okay, so he is clearly making a, a line which supports this particular point that I'm about to make. When he makes this comment, it is possible to kill the enemy general with shinobi no jitsu, and if this is done, the benefit will be immeasurable. He doesn't say it is possible for the ninja to use kenjutsu, or the art of the sword, to kill the enemy general. He does not say it is possible for the ninja to use iaijutsu and kill the enemy general. He does not say it is possible for the ninja to use tanto jutsu, or knife fighting, to kill the enemy general. He does not say it's possible for the ninja to use kyujutsu to kill the enemy general, which is archery. He doesn't say that it's possible for the ninja to use sojutsu and kill the enemy general, which is spearmanship. He doesn't say that it is possible for the ninja to use taijutsu to kill the enemy general, which would be like empty-handed tactics or empty-handed fighting, right? Body art, body stuff, empty-handed fighting. He clearly says it is possible to kill the enemy general with shinobi no jutsu. So 
the individual who says ninjas should train in the arts of war, ninjas should train in kenjutsu, ninjas should train in iaijutsu, he's also saying that you can use ninjutsu or shinobi no jitsu to kill the enemy general. And there are secrets in shinobi no jitsu on the skills required to kill the enemy's commander. So when people say, I, want to, I don't want to study the martial arts, I just want to learn the ninjutsu stuff, I think what happens is we live in a world full of knowledge and um, we're drowning in knowledge and starving for wisdom. And this is one reason why I started the Buddha Yukai in 2004 because I honestly felt like every ninjutsu organization was just fucking wrong. And it's not that their arts or the art is wrong or their lineage is wrong. I'm not, I'm not talking about that crap. I mean, just the way that they train. You know, I am a very intense person and there are things that I truly believe in because I think it, it gives people a sense of like betterment. And I believe that, you know, like we do sparring. A lot of ninjutsu schools don't do sparring. We spar. I think, you know, getting your ass whooped on the mat, that's one of the best lessons you can have. Because in a real fight, you're going to get your fucking ass kicked. People are going to punch and kick you and not give a shit about your feelings. And when you have all these martial art teachers out there that say, oh, we teach ninjutsu. And ninjutsu, again, let's, let's paint the picture of ninjutsu. Ninjutsu is an art of the ninja. And the ninja should excel even in combat. And one of them should be, you know, a match for a thousand. And you get these people, ninja instructors, who just hand away black belts to anybody, can't fight, can't grapple, can't take a punch. They've never been in a real fight. They don't know what it's like to get punched right in the mouth. And I just think that those teachers sh are, should apologize to the arts that they claim to teach. People come here and we make them spar. We make them grapple. We make them do full contact training. We do have physical requirements. If you can't do the physical requirements, then leave. And you know how I've even had people who ran schools, open schools, and then they got to the point where it's like, this shit, she's making us do this stuff that we don't want to do. It's too hard. Or maybe they think I'm a little crazy on the physical conditioning, which maybe there is a little bit to that. But then they leave. Well, fine. You didn't cut it. Go do something else. And they do. And every one of them have left and done some bullshit that's easy. We just live in a world where everyone thinks that they're they're, they deserve something, that they're, they're, they should be given something instead of working for it. Like get on the internet and you can find out anything you want. And everyone just believes knowledge is power. Well, knowing something isn't going to stop someone from whooping your ass. You know what I mean? And there's no way in hell when someone says, when the Bonsen Shukai says, it's possible to kill the enemy general with shinobi no jutsu, and everyone's like, oh, well, the ninja is actually just as, all they do is just gather information. They sit on the hill and they watch how many people walk in the door, and then they drop three beans and say there were three people in the door, and then run off and tell their lord that they dropped three beans. It's bullshit. Literally, it should be, it's possible to kill the enemy with shinobi no jutsu. You are doing shit. You are doing something. That's a certain mentality. That isn't watching someone from the side of the hill and how many guards walk around the house. There's more to it than that. There's a lot more to it than that. And although, yes, spying and espionage and all that kind of stuff all takes its place and has and does have its place within ninjutsu, you guys, please watch my video called um, Top 10 Skills of the Historical Ninja. That would be a good video for you guys to watch as well. I'll link all these videos below so you guys can watch those videos. I've had to work for everything I have and I've busted my ass. And as a transgendered woman who teaches combat on an international stage, you know, I get hammered every single day. And I'm not going to quit just because someone has an opinion about me, but I'm still going to teach the arts the way that I see fit. And I'm still going to do it the way that I feel is true to its, to its form. Someone could read the same three books, the Shoninki, the Nippidin, and the Bonsen Shukai, which are the three books that I've referenced and then they could get something completely different from it and that's what I mean by ninjutsu is so deep and so complex because you can there's so many different ways to take it in and everything and don't get me wrong I get it you know perception is based on perspective and um, I think it's because I've had to fight for so much in my life to be who I am and to do what I do you know that combative aspect is never going to leave from the type of woman that I am and I want my students to have that fight. I want my students to understand that and to be able to endure, persevere, and overcome. The ninja was one of the greatest warriors of all time, one of the most feared warriors of all time. I, I love ninjutsu, I love bujutsu, it's what I've dedicated my life to.
There's just so many schools out there that have absolutely no basis for the reason of why they do something. And they act very culty. And then they want their students to believe that their organization is the only truth to the knowledge of ninjutsu. That's absolutely stupid. Again, that's like saying Ford Motor Company is the only one that can teach you how to change a tire. I mean, the idea of that is ridiculous. You learn information, you gather knowledge, and then you pass that knowledge on to those around you. That, that's the way that we've, ha we've been for thousands of years. You know, I've trained in the arts. I've acquired a certain amount of skills. I teach specific skills. Here at the Budo Yukai, we have seven warrior traditions. From those seven traditions, we have five areas of training. If you're interested in what we do, check out the website. Most schools who claim to teach ninjutsu don't have a basis for what they do. And they hide behind a lineage that they can't prove, or they hide behind, you know, someone else that has achieved something that they believe to be great, that a lot of other people don't think is great at all. You know, for me, I hang my hat on the skills. Every single year that we've had the Budo Yukai, we've had an open stealth camp. People can come and train in the arts of stealth, espionage, st stealth walking, infiltration, lock picking, climbing skills. Like everything that I do, we've, I've done for so many years. We're the only school that has an open annual stealth camp. Show me another school that openly allows people to come in and learn the arts of stealth from a historical perspective. We've been doing it since the beginning. Just go look at the damn channel. Look at how many stealth camp videos we have, or Daikomi Osai videos we have, or Tomoru uh, Shinobi Jutsu Taikais that we have. It feels like people might say, well, I don't particularly like Tomoru. That's fine. Let's just, I'll tell you what, if you don't like the word Tomoru, just forget that the video says Tomoru on it. Look at the skills. All the skills 100% fit in Japanese history. The only reason you don't like it is because it's me and you have an issue with me. You don't have an issue with the skills. Look at all the Tomoru videos, all the Tomoru Shinobi Keikos. All of them are historical ninjutsu skills. All of them, the skill set, the way that we're training, what we're doing fits directly into Japanese history. And for me, I don't believe that you can separate ninjutsu from bujutsu. The warriors are the ones that conducted ninjutsu. And if you don't want to push yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, well then fuck, you don't need to be here. You know how I many people have joined this organization and quit because it's too hard? Thousands. I have thousands of people all over the world training the online dojo. And I have thousands of people who joined and quit because the shit was too hard. And I have, don't give a damn. I'll have thousands more join and I'll have thousands more quit. Because it's only gonna be a select few that's gonna have the heart of a warrior and endure, persevere, and push themselves through it. That's just, that's just the damn truth. Anybody in any organization can say that. You know what I mean? The majority of people who join martial arts, the vast majority of people who join martial arts don't get a black belt, and the vast majority of people who get a black belt quit before they get a knee done. Anyway, this individual made that particular comment, and he says, real ninjutsu versus martial arts, and it's usually a topic that people use to start fights online. It's what people use to start battles in my organization, and your organization, and blah, 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 and it's about the dumbest damn thing ever. But I think it's because of the way that I think of things too rationally to let stupid shit be, to get involved with stupid shit. Miyamoto Masashi said, do nothing of no use. And that's why I don't respond to anyone's stupid shit. Someone posts a comment. If you even post a comment that's just even halfway smart ass, it's, I just delete you. Anyway, this is a long video. My apologies. I'm going to cut it off now because I could just keep on keeping on. So, um, give you guys the outro. If this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, again, I'm Krista Jacobson. I am the headmistress of the Buddha Yukai. If you are interested in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, uh, please check out our website at www.budojuninjutsu.com. Uh, there you can see a list of our schools, the seven traditions that we teach, the different areas of training that we stick to, and our philosophies and principles. Um, if you don't live next to one of our schools, you guys can always join the Buddha Yukai online ninjutsu dojo, and you guys can start training with us today. So thank you very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Budo.